Merry Christmas, True Wonder. I hope you had a wonderful holiday celebrating Jesus' birth with your family, around a tree with gifts, with good food. Well, we got to learn last week all about the Christmas story and that God sent the promised Savior, Jesus, and that the first people God told this good news were some shepherds, right? Do you know what? God wants us to know about Jesus. Does God want us to know about Jesus this much? <laughs> no. How much more? More, you think? About this much? No, even more, right? We can't ever know enough about Jesus. And that's something we'll spend our whole lives doing, learning about Jesus, our Savior. Well, today we're going to continue learning about Jesus and who God pointed to Jesus. Far across the desert, in a place near where Jesus was born, to the east, were many, many kingdoms with many kings. Men, called magi or wise men, worked for the kings and their job was to help the kings by knowing all about the stars in the sky. There are still people today who study the stars and they know the night sky so well that they can tell if it's winter, spring, summer, or fall just by looking at where the stars are. What do they use to look at the stars? They use telescopes. Well, the wise men in the big God story studied the stars too. And what do you think helped them keep track of all the stars? Well, a map of stars. Well, we could all pretend maybe and get out some telescopes and look at stars. Do you see any stars in the sky? One night, these wise men were looking at the stars and all of a sudden, they saw a star they had never seen before. They were very, very amazed and excited because they had never seen anything like this in the sky. Who do you think put the star in the sky? God, God had sent this bright star to point the wise men toward the promised savior. Well, the wise men left right away to go and follow the star. And it was a long journey. But the wise men followed the star to the city of Jerusalem where King Herod lived. And the wise men were hopeful that King Herod would know where to find this new king, the promised savior. Well, Herod, didn't know anything about a new king being born. So Herod asked the priests to search for God's word for answers. And they did. And the scriptures, the Bible said that the savior would be born in Bethlehem, five miles away. But Herod was a bad king and he wanted to hurt this new king who had been born, baby Jesus. And so he came up with a trick. He decided to trick the wise men into coming back and telling him where baby Jesus was living. But God warned the wise men about Herod in a dream. The wise men left King Herod's palace to go to Bethlehem. And who do you think they found there? They found Mary and Joseph and Jesus. When the wise men came to Jesus, they bowed down and gave Jesus gifts. They gave Jesus gifts of gold, like some gold I have here. And they gave Jesus the gift of frankincense, which is like a perfume. And they also gave Jesus the gift of myrrh, which is like a very, very expensive oil. It would make you smell nice and you could rub it on your skin. Well, after the wise men worshiped Jesus, 
They said goodbye and headed home, but remember, they were not going to tell King Herod about where baby Jesus lived because God had warned them not to. God used a star in the sky to point the wise men to his son. And after meeting Jesus the Savior, God pointed the wise men to Jesus and he points us to his son too. And God loves us so much that he points us to Jesus. He points us to Jesus through our family members. He points us to Jesus through people who love us, like our teachers and our friends at church. He points us to Jesus through art and nature. God's spirit is everywhere, pointing us to Jesus. And so I encourage you to ask the people who are watching this video with you about when God pointed them to Jesus, because it's an amazing story. Well, friends, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas season. I love you all so much, and we'll see you next week for the Big God Story. Goodbye.